What's up everybody, I'm Puma Pete of Friendly Fire Co-op and today I'm going to show you how to complete the Cecil's Mighty Staff quest in Divinity Original Sin. Alright, you'll start the Cecil's Mighty Staff quest uh, right outside of Cecil's office, uh, just northeast of like the main central market area uh, in Cecil. So walk in, talk to Cecil, talk to him about, uh, not there, tell me about the issues in Cecil. Uh, just scroll through that text, you kind of have to go through it, and then you ask him about what's this about the Staff of Pergamon. Uh, just follow that little dialogue chain. Uh, he actually doesn't know. Then he says he lost it, and he wants you to find his staff. So I will go ahead and exit out of this real quick. He tells you, go talk to a merchant at a shipyard. Don't do that. That's a waste of time. The merchant is pretty much useless. He will won't be able to tell you anything. He tells you that he lost it. So pops up in the quest log, tells you to go find the merchant. I don't recommend it. So just get outside of Cecil's house. Uh, just run northeast towards the like northeast exit of the city, kind of the same place that uh, you would exit if you were doing the Tom the Wannabe Adventure quest, which is what I showed yesterday, and we're going to be following pretty much the same path, uh, at least for the large portion of the majority of uh, this quest guide. Just kidding. All right. I was going the wrong way at first, then I remembered which way to actually go. But yeah, just follow this path. Um, again, like uh, the previous videos where there would be combat, I did cut it out, so... Uh, if you're, you know, doing this yourself, don't have not seen previous quest videos. I do. I do cut out most of the combat that I consider to be non-essential parts of the quest. So here we go. Run out the door, and just follow uh, this path to the most northeast portion that you pretty much can, uh, in the direction of uh, the cave with Arhu's experiment. And we'll go ahead and speed it up, uh, so this does not take forever. Uh, there's combat here, specifically right there, is the hardest fight. But uh, come into the rank tunnel. Just run through it. Um, if you haven't done Ars Fail Experiment, pay no attention to the large mechanical golem. Uh, you'll get to that eventually. Uh, if, if you're doing this quest after that one, you are going to have to fight that rather large mechanical object. Uh, then you just follow this path to the west. There will be combat at that camp right there, uh, if you've not already cleared it out, which I already have. And then run down here onto the beach, and we'll slow it back down because this is his main part. Talk to Dietmer, who says no one can find the Enlightened One, and then he'll start a fight. I'll show him journal real quick up oh, that's actually for the mysterious murder um again these quests kind of overlap uh which you will you know kind of find out the reason yourself uh, as you play the game i'm not gonna explain exactly how they overlap but go to the oil uh and then i just like them on fire this should be this again i play uh all the quest videos are on easy so these fights will be really quick uh if you're doing this yourself uh and you're on normal or hard this fight will definitely be much more complicated than uh, it appears to be for myself, but uh, this quest in general is not, or this fight in general is not a particularly difficult one, even on harder difficulties because it's only three enemies; they're all humans, so there's nothing like crazy that's going to happen. But just go ahead and take them out pretty quickly. Do a little charging, um, and punch that guy in the face. Bam! Deepmer slug down. That might actually have been Deepmer. I can't tell which one's which. I think the one in the back or in like the middle is Deepmer. But shoot him with some electricity, light people on fire. Oh, I missed. That was uh, really well played by me there. And the combat. Um, don't think this fight should take too much longer, although I don't know for sure. Filmed this a little bit ago. All right, that guy's on fire now, though. Turned invisible. However, um, so Dietmar has the ability to get invisible like a rogue, but uh, invisible enemies are susceptible to AoE abilities still. So if you know kind of where he's standing, and you can... Usually you can still see the glimmer a little bit, I think. Uh, and you hit him with an AoE move, it'll knock him out of his invisibility. Much like this right here. Shoot him with the Divine Light, and there we go. If he wouldn't have died, uh, that would have brought him out of his invisibility. But he died anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, specifically in my situation. But that is a way to take people out of invisibility. Uh, and then I'll just run up here. Don't think I'm going to be able to kill this person on Medora's turn. So it's going to take... Probably another turn or two, but he's knocked down, so won't be too much left to do. And at the end of this fight will be the end of the quest, so not too much longer. Get Sean into position. Maybe I'll actually be able to hit him this time. Nope, just kidding. No, I won't. Get my main guy into position. Hopefully hit him with a flare. Gonna have to move up just a little bit. Doesn't matter range. Uh, there we go. Blast him with a fireball. Don't think this should kill him. Then we can just beat on him, beat on him a little bit with the other characters, and he should be good. Uh, so just end the turn there with my mage. And a couple auto attacks here from my, uh, I forget what the name of that, oh, Cleric, or not Cleric, I don't remember what it's called, <laughs> but, uh, 
go ahead and loot everything. Make sure you definitely pick up the Staff of Pergamon, obviously, because that's kind of what we came here for. There's some other loot that you can grab. Uh, let's go ahead, pick up the Staff. Uh, pick up the... I just kind of pick up everything. It's not really particularly important what you choose to pick up. Uh, there, I show you that uh, on the quest log we have completed it, and then just run back to Cecil, talk to Cecil. At this point, you have the option to either keep the staff yourself or give it to him. Either way, the quest will end. Uh, if you happen to be a fire elementalist, I definitely recommend keeping the staff because it goes, gives plus one to fire elementalist as well as plus one to constitution. So it's definitely a useful staff to have if you choose to keep it, which I do right here. And at this point, the quest will end. I'll show right here. Uh, and there you go. Quest is gone. Again, I would like to take this time to remind you that uh, because Divinity the Original Sin is an open world game, there are multiple ways to complete different quests. Uh, I do believe you need to re retrieve the staff from Dietmer, but from there, are, there may be other ways to complete the quest if you know another way. Uh, aside from giving the staff to Cecil or keeping it for yourself, feel free to let me know in the comments. I may make a video explaining that method as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more daily Divinity the Original Sin videos and quest guides. Bye.